welcome back. Let's do a what's new and exciting, currently hitting the high street and department stores in the UK. And I'm going to count down seven things that I've been particularly impressed by that I've been testing and trialing and that I think really are standout products, including this. And so many of you asked me to review this because you know how much I love Arborium BB Cream. This is their brand new Super BB. What's different about it? Well, it has all of the brilliant skincare properties of all of the other Arborian refined products. That's basically their skincare makeup hybrid products. You know that nine times out of 10, I wear the BB cream and the BB crayons most days. They give a really lovely, light, luminous finish to the skin. You know that Joe Jones, my partner in crime, loves the CC, which is the colour correct. That's the one that goes on clear and bursts onto the skin. There are other skin heroes within the range as well that give a range of coverage. But what was missing was probably what I would call a weekend going out, little bit of extra coverage, eggshell finish foundation. And here it is. Welcome to the world, Arborian Super BB. It comes in five shades. I'm still Doré. That's the absolute middle one. So it comes in Claire, Nude, Doré, Caramel and Chocolate. And I'm going to drop in a picture of them here. And it also comes in two sizes because so many people say to me, I think I'm the same colour as you, but I don't really know. And I always say go for the smaller size. So it comes in the larger size and it comes in the smaller size as well. So that's a 40 mil and a 15 mil. The 15 mil is brilliant to travel with, but it's also the perfect size for you to test what colour you are. And the shade range is increasing the whole time. So there's the little mini travel one. It's brilliant for travelling with. Brilliant for keeping in your bag during the day for top ups. But also it's a really good way to test out what colour you are. Now, it suits all skin types. And it's for people that like an eggshell, probably heavier coverage. And it was needed within the range because there wasn't really a full coverage foundation within the Arborian range. So I would say it's suited for all skin types. However, if you are like me and you have a slightly drier skin, try and apply it to a skincare damp skin because you will get more spread, more of an even sort of spread of a heavier coverage foundation. And I would actually give that advice to everybody if they're using a heavier coverage foundation and you have a drier skin. It will just give it more slip. Can I also say it also has the ability to be built up or built down. So if you put it over a hyaluronic acid or a serum damp skin, it'll go on fairly sheer, but you can build it and build it and build it to the point where this is zero concealer. I don't have any of my crayons on here. That shows you how much coverage it will give. It gives a much more professional dressed going out look. And because it has all of the glycerin and the niacinamide and the skin friendly ingredients, it's really good for covering problematic skin, so breakout skin or melasma or rosacea. It's that sort of coverage. It will give you the skin confidence that you want if you're looking for a little bit more coverage. For example, I would normally put concealer here and here and here and here. So around my broken veins from having hay fever for years and in the darker circles. But actually, I just went in with my brush with what was left on the back of my hand, damped, dabbed it in there and there didn't need a concealer. So it really is an all-in-one skin refiner, skin finisher, eggshell finish. So look at the coverage of an egg, that really flattering demi-matte, but still quite, not light reflective, but perfect finish. That's what you want, but with a full coverage. And I have a discount code because every time I work with a brand, I ask for a discount code. Nadine20 will get you 20% off of everything on the UK site. I will put the details here. I'll also put the link and the tag below. So thank you to Aborian. Do you know what? So many people say to me, where's your code gone? And I sort of just ring them up and they reactivate it. But here, because I'm working with them on this for Super BB, they have kindly reactivated the code. It's Nadine20. And that's not just on the skin refiners or Super BB or even my beloved BB. It's across everything. What's next? Well, I tell you what is new and exciting. And a lot of you might not think this is new and exciting, but it is new and exciting. How about the first new pattern pending 25 patterns, totally EU approved SPF for a long time. I would say probably since L'Oreal last introduced one, which I seem to remember was Mexarel S. 
they now have a new one on the market and it is the Mexeril 400 filter and it's been specifically formulated to work the longer UVA ray spectrum. I don't know if you know, but UVBs are fairly short spectrum. They tend to go on the surface of the skin. They burn the skin. So that's what you're getting exposed to too much of if you get sunburn. They tend to be higher in the summer and nearer the equator. However, UVA is pretty year round consistent. I'm in filming in front of a window here. The UVA is coming around even though we're in the beginning of March in the UK and it's aggressing my skin year round. And traditional, even broad spectrum filters have been quite good at doing a sort of middle range UVA, but not so much for the longer range. And that's where this comes in. And if you're wondering what product within the L'Oreal portfolio has got it first, surprise, surprise, it's La Roche-Posay. So the Mexeril 400 is going to be in this, the beloved little shaker and Delios, and it's now going to be renamed. So it's now the Anthelios UV Noon, as in immune, 400, and it's the 50 plus. It's the one that most people like that sits really well under makeup and by shaker, I mean that. I presume that over the coming two years, it will filter down to everything. So I presume it'll go into maybe Armani and then L'Oreal, then Lancome, then filter down obviously to Garnier and L'Oreal as well. Anyway, to be honest, I can't see any difference between this and my beloved original Anthelios Shaker SPF 50 Plus. It simply has an additional SPF protection for longer, more dam damaging insidious year round causes age spots and wrinkles and collagen breakdown longer rays uva but otherwise i don't think if you picked it up by accident you would actually notice that much difference to me there feels no difference in the texture you've just got additional uva protection well done la roche posay well done the entire l'oreal group because they've done a good job of that they really have and if you're watching this in the states I don't think you can get Mexeril in the States, which is a pity, but if you've got anybody in the UK that would kindly send it to you, go for it. Uh, it's very strange, the range, the, the arguments between the UVA, the UVA and UVB filters that are approved in the US, as opposed to the UK and in Europe, we have so many more approved SPFs and it's just that the FDA have not got around to approving them. There's nothing wrong with them. They're completely safe. They're brilliant. We need as many new SPF developments as possible. Well done, L'Oreal. Well done, La Roche-Posay. I'm sure it will filter down. So that is the La Roche-Posay and Thelios UV Mune 400. That's what you'll see. You'll see that 400 written on it because it is the Mexerel 400 and that's what's going to be hitting the market this summer. Let's see how quickly it is before Garnier get it. Because, you know, I have to say year after year after year, Garnier do share technology with La Roche-Posay and sometimes you just get great value for money out of their SPFs. You really do. I've got other good news. <laughs> oh, it's finally here. This is the Hadalabo Premium Gold, finally available in the UK. You don't have to go on to Amazon and look for it from some dodgy retailer anymore. This is it. It's here in the UK. It comes in a pump. It's got the gold round and it's got the five different molecular weights of hyaluronic acid. I love everything from Hadalabo. I really do. It's one of the brands that I'm kind of like, you know, to be honest, I love everything from Arborian. I love everything from a brand that's about to come up. I love everything from La Roche-Posay. I love everything from Hadalabo. That's why I've kind of put all these together in a video. What's different about it? The traditional um, Hadalabo 2 hyaluronic acids that came over here. There's one with a retinol precursor in for night as well, are quite runny. This is the lovely gloopy thick. I was looking that in there, seeing how quickly it was running down my hand. I mean, I just love it. It is reasonably priced. It's available from Superdrug. It's much more of a sort of slightly jelly texture. Brilliant for dry skin, brilliant for patting around the eyes, brilliant for putting under your Arborian if you're looking for a, your super BB, if you're looking for a little bit of extra slip, I just love it. I mean, look at that. It literally takes the wrinkles out of my old lady hands in a heartbeat. It's a very instant hit of hydration and humectants. And what you would do is you would just put something over the surface to lock that in. You could either put the anthelius in, you could put another serum over the top. It's, I just really like it. And do you know what? Somebody put this Somebody tagged me in a post, I think it was in Poland, about three months ago, and I was like, what the, blah, 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 blah? we don't get that here. It's here. It's finally hit the counter. Congratulations, Hadalabo. I really love it. 
Uh, in um, Asia, it comes in with niacinamide in as well. I've double checked the ink list. This doesn't have niacinamide in it, um, but I'm sure another product will be coming later. They're just slowly introducing the original Asian brand product, branded products over here, but with English packaging. I like it. I like it. I like it. What's next? Oh, I think I might have found a new favorite CeraVe cleanser. Now, you know how much I love the hydrating gel cleanser. However, it's a morning cleanser. I tend not to use it at night because I need something with a little bit more hydration and a little bit more slip, something to get rid of makeup. Woohoo! I found it. This is CeraVe Hydrating Foaming Oil Cleanser. Goes on as an oil. You can gently massage it into damp skin. It will get rid of every scrap of makeup, team it with a microfiber cloth or a flannel, whatever you want, a, a muslin cloth. And then the minute the water hits it, it, it very gently foams, and I mean very gently foams. Rinses clear away, healthy, happy, super clean skin. You could use this over your entire body if you've got, say, like Sally has, Sally Hughes, ichthyosis or some sort of dry skin condition. It would be brilliant to shave your legs with, your underarms with, love, 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 love. So basically hydrating gel cleanser is my morning cleanser. This is now a new favorite for me for my nighttime cleanse. I really, really like it. There's a brand new serum from Lancome, and I'm not sure if you've seen it. Um, there's that actress, um, the blonde actress from Mamma Mia is advertising it on television. I've forgotten her name. I'm so sorry. That's awful. She was also in that, that movie where they had the time limits on their hands. Have you ever seen that? With um, Justin Timberlake in, and uh, you you basically have to buy time. You work to buy time to keep your life going. Really interesting concept. Amanda Seyfried. I knew if I gabbled on long enough, it would appear. This is the brand new Longcom HCF serum, and if you look at the bottom, you've got three different completely intact capsules within the really cool flacon. Look at that, and then this one hasn't been pumped up because the one I'm using is on my side. And then what happens is each of the containers pump up at the same time, mix on your hand. And what comes out is hyaluronic acid, vitamin C and ferulic acid. So what you end up with is just essentially an all in one serum. If you don't want to think about layering skincare serums, I love it. I really enjoy the process. But if you just want a name you know and trust to give you a serum that's got everything in it, this is it. This is the sort of serum I would put for, I personally would put over the head a lot of our hyaluronic acid because it's loaded with glycerin and hyaluronic acid. It's milkier, it locks everything in. It sits really, really, really well under makeup. Again, it would sit brilliant under the Aborian Super BB. Um, it's just a really clever development from Lancome and I really like it. And if this is the way Lancome are gonna go with their skincare, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, because it's delivering all the actives you want, but in a, you won't have to think about this. You won't have to worry about where to layer things. You just absolutely trust Lancome to deliver everything you want in a single pump. And I think that's really, really clever. So let me just run through the active ingredients. It has got, she said putting her glasses on, it's got hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, niacinamide and ferulic acid. And they're targeting skin quality, so dehydration, fine lines and dark spots. I really like it. I think it's a really interesting way for what I would consider quite a conservative skincare company to go. And you can see again, you see, you can see that, that Lancome is owned by a conglomerate that also owns La Roche-Posay and Vichy and, you know, SkinCeuticals, the C Ferulic says it all really. But it's for people who maybe aren't skincare obsessives or skin intellectuals and don't want to have to think about layering things they just want maybe a single step and an spf and go that's it can't really show you the outer packaging that's terrible it's actually silver the outer packaging i gotta send that in advance i've been testing that for a while i really like it it's beautifully under makeup uh what's next so rare beauty launched in space and k in the uk just a couple of weeks ago and i have had so many questions from people going what blush are you wearing what blush are you wearing what blush are you wearing? Even on one live with Mary Greenwell, you've got too much blush on. And you're right, I did have too much blush on when I did my live with Mary Greenwell. I was out with my mum all day. I panicked because I got stuck in traffic. I couldn't get back on time. I slapped some makeup on really quickly before I did a live with her and I had too much blush on. That's not a reflection on how brilliant this product is or this range is. It's a reflection on what a doofus I am. But 
um, look at this and what I really like about it is to me it's the standout product from Rare Beauty which is the Selena Gomez range which has gone into Space NK and it's their liquid blush this is joy this is what I've got on here and here I've actually got it under my NARS um, afterglow lip balm in orgasm because I like a little bit of extra slip but it is a three in one liquid pigment so it goes on cheeks it goes on lips it will go on eyes it's super pigmented hence the go fast strife on my live with Mary forgive me you literally need a short stubbled brush it could be a small one like this or a slightly larger one put a tiny dab on the back of your hand work it in work it in work it in work it in work it into the brush make sure it's evenly distributed through the brush and then you stipple it on I mean, you could do it with your fingers but i think it's it works better with a brush comes in a range of shades there isn't a duff shade in it i really love it i think it's a really interesting product it doesn't dry tacky or sticky or oily or greasy it dries and it sort of blends into your foundation and then just dries and stays put same on your lips hence the fact you need a little bit of lip balm over the top same on your eyes it will have a matte finish I love it. I really, really love this product. And I also think that is the best of the Rare Beauty packaging. And then where are we up to? Finally, finally, I've got a really interesting way for you to fragrance your house. And I know I don't normally do fragrances. I know I do candles and stuff like that. But Floral Street is such an interesting UK brand. And I want to open these up and show them to you. Because when I first was introduced them to you, I was like, where's the juice? Not blame it on the juice, but where's the juice? So Floral Street have introduced some vegan, eco-friendly, 100% plastic free reeds. They're super stylish. So they're black, really chunky. I'm just going to put them in the top of there so I don't touch them too much. There are five per box and they're already impregnated with the fragrance like the minute I opened that up I could smell it I can smell apricots I can smell roses I can smell which one is this this is Lady Emma and they are the floral street scented reeds and I just think they're really clever one I didn't know reeds had plastic in them so weren't good for the environment sorry I had no idea two have you noticed that reeds tend to wear off they just lose their oomph and their va va boom and and the juice can get a little bit sort of stale I've noticed that a lot these last for so long I mean I've put them in this painting it doesn't do them justice. They really are powerful. Sitting here now, I'm getting a real hit of the Lady Emma fragrance. They come from a in a range of fragrances. They're available at floralstreet.com. And each of the boxes, if you actually go shopping, has a little scratch and snip on it. So you can test the fragrance before you buy, because obviously when you open them up, they're all sealed inside. And I just really like the idea. I think it's really clever and really stylish. So I am going to move those now stick them over there with my black and white stuff on my side and they will just sit perfectly. They're really cool, really chunky, vegan, really stylish, but all the fragrances in them. That's really clever. Well done, Floral Street. I think they're really good innovators in ways to deliver fragrance into your life. Also, they've just won the BAFTA um, contract partnership. So they're creating a fragrance just for BAFTA, for the, the BAFTA headquarters in London. So congratulations to Floral Street. I think it's really interesting. It's a really, really interesting company. You know, they have also, they have, obviously they have uh, traditional ways to fragrance your house. So they have little flacons like this. Would you just spray in the air? Do you know why, what I always do? I always spray mine into my light shades. I've got black light shades downstairs. And then as they warm up, um, with the light on them then the the scent slowly diffuses into the air i mean they should be created in a way that you should be able to be able to spray them in the air and walk through and stuff like that but i just think these are really clever i've never seen anything like that you should have seen me going where's the juice there is no juice you don't need to blame it on the juice they work on their own so that's it that's my roundup of what's new and exciting i hope you really enjoyed it normally i do this sort of stuff on instagram but i feel like i've neglected you recently but i am beginning to share content across both platforms now so it's fun don't forget code nadine 20 for the absolutely brilliant 20 percent of everything from aborium one of my all-time favorite skincare brands but it just so happens to be between you and i boy races outside between you and i my favourite makeup range. It really is. They call them skin refiners, skin finishers. What you end up with is you end up with all of the skincare knowledge from Aborian, 
which is a Korean French brand with absolutely all of the amazing Parisian skin finish. I just really like their foundations and welcome Super BB because I do think it's interesting that for a lot of people, if for example, you were going to like something like double wear or you wanted something to give you a really dramatic, nice evening finish, XL, super coverage, super BBs for you. It really is. It comes in five shades, but don't forget two different sizes if you don't know one, which one suits you. And actually it's going up now to caramel and chocolate. So it, it is covering more skin shades. Don't forget code Nadine 20. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I need to come back to you and do my mascara video. Um, I've been testing quite a few recently and there are some sort of double ups out there and then there are some interesting ones that come with two brushes i promise you it's coming soon thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and I'll see you soon.